a beautiful video of Carlo Rovelli that there is no physical time. But what, what does it mean if there is no physical time? How we have to develop theoretically physics to include the fact that there is no time. Check this video of Carlo Rovelli, great video of Carlo Rovelli, that there is no physical time. This means that the space-time is not a good idea anymore, it's not a good model. We have to replace space-time with the time-invariant space. Universal space is time-invariant. There is no time in the, in the universal space. What does it mean? This means that the only universe that exists is the one we can observe. This is the universe that it's now. Rovelli denying of the existence of physical time means that the only time that exists is now. In the technical terms, this means that universal space is time invariant. And we experience this time invariant space as now. Every morning you wake up, you wake up in the same now. You are born, you live and you die in the same now. So this perspective, this view on the universe in some physical time is wrong. This is the big insight of Carlo Rovelli. So he, he, he don't talk about time, he talk about changes. But what he is missing, he said that in quantum mechanics we can explain quantum mechanics without time. There is no need for this. In the quantum mechanics and in the cosmology, time is an emergent physical reality that enters in existence when measured. Measurement creates time. And the fundamental unit of time is a Planck time. This is the unit, the fundamental unit of numerical order. Things are changing. And the change of things in the universe has a certain numerical order. X plus 1 is after X. X plus 2 is after X plus 1. And the fundamental unit, I will repeat, unit is a Planck time. But we have to make it clear that this numerical order of change run in the time invariant space that we experience as now. This is still what Rovelli is missing. Rovelli is missing the model of time invariant space that we experience as now. This is the breakthrough of physics. The breakthrough of physics is that we step out of the view that everything happened in time. Why we have this view? We have this view because When you perceive a motion, you perceive a motion in space. You experience this motion in the frame of psychological time, which is in your brain. Neural, neuronal activity of the brain generates linear time, past, present, future. But you, when you wake up the observer, you can step out of the time.
you can see things as they really happen without psychological time and when you do this Einstein was out of time Erwin Schrödinger he was out of psychological time then you see that everything run in now this is a huge jump for humanity and I will tell you openly I sent we sent several articles to foundations of physics that now the chief editor is Rovelli and he never published a single article that we sent it on the development of our model of time that we published in, 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 uh, in uh, foundations of physics years ago so why Rovelli is doing that? That this is the sad fact of science. That uh, there is a, such a huge ego trip in every scientist. He want to be the best, he want to be the first, and he won't listen to anybody. <laughs> This is the case of Carlo Rovelli. This is the case of, of, uh, of uh, uh, Roger Penrose that every few days has a big discussion on YouTube and he's talking utter nonsense about gravity, about quantum physics and about cosmic, <laughs> about cyclic cosmology. This is the case. So check, check our articles in, in Foundations of Physics about time. But as this article, if you want to see it, you have to pay it. There is another article that is on my homepage that is free of charge, where I explain exactly, but in a more technical terms, what Rovelli is talking, that there is no physical time. 